Mayor Warren Buffett is one of the richest people in the world, and he says wealthy Americans like himself don't pay their fair share in taxes. The lucky ones still prosper incredibly disproportionately. But when it comes to companies, Buffett's own have done rather well. In a new study by left-leaning advocacy group Citizens for Tax Justice, Wells Fargo Bank, partially owned by Buffett, recorded the biggest reduction in taxes over the last three years. In fact, it got over $600 million in tax rebates. Part of the reason the protesters here at Occupy Wall Street are angry, the advantages that the richest 1% of Americans are afforded, including huge tax breaks. This new study out says that a lot of the big corporations in America also aren't paying their fair share in taxes. The study looked at 280 of the most profitable American companies and found that they only paid about half of the official tax rate. And 30 of those companies did not pay taxes at all. Included on that list, General Electric. Their CEO, Jeff Immelt, heads up President Obama's jobs creation panel. Many conservatives, including all the Republican presidential candidates, defend the gains of corporate America, sometimes exposing them to public outrage. Corporations are people, my friend. You can raise taxes. At, of course they are. Everything corporations earn ultimately goes to people. So, where do you think it goes? America has one of the highest corporate tax rates in the world, but it's the loopholes, the tax breaks, that allow bigger companies to pay much less than 35%. So the uh, system really has gotten out of control uh, and for the last 20 or 30 years, and the reasons are twofold. One is Congress passes a lot of stuff, special breaks. The other is, uh, as the world kind of as globalization goes on and you have more communications and everything, everything that actually we're glad to have, where it's becoming one small world, uh, also makes it a lot easier for companies to shift their income to low-tax jurisdictions. But for now, even with thousands on the streets protesting, there's no appetite in Washington to close corporate tax loopholes anytime soon. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, New York.